Nearly three years after Sam lost her husband in a climbing accident, she's falling in love again. But can she dare to let go of the past? We'd start to see each other nearly every day, but never talked of the future or uttered the L word. That would have been crazy. In fact, she was right. Rob O was only 27. I had more baggage than Terminal 5. Better to let it go now. So I ignored Rob O's texts when they came. It was come, then later. I was too old. Too damaged. He was so full of life. Always excited. Always wanting to do so much. See so many things. He was too beautiful for a cranky old man like me. Eventually, after a week of the cold shoulder, he came looking for me. What's going on? He asked, his pale blue eyes looking hurt. It all spilled out. Rob's death, the age difference, my fear for the future, if we had a future. I like you a bit too much, I said. I'm scared. Do you think I'm going to let you go? He replied. And just like that, I knew I had to let go of the ghosts. Kick the big fat wolf out of the fairy tale I once lived. And tried to give this crazy thing a proper go. 